Okay, so this is genuinely one of the most exciting things that's happened to me in a while. I got this package today outside my door. All I know is that there's a guitar in there. I don't know what it's supposed to look like, what it's supposed to sound like. The only thing I know is the actual company that sent it. So we're in for a lot of surprises. <laughs> Pause. Okay, here's what you need to know, because I don't think I can give you the full story without some much needed context. I'm a Strat guy, always have been. And to be more specific and contextually accurate, S-style guitars have been my go-to, like my bread and butter for quite a while. And I love literally all of it, the five way, the shape, the history, the single coil sound. Unless of course you're talking about an HH Strat, but we won't really reference those people today. Well, Mike, why does that even matter? Well, because this right here is gonna be competing with other S-style guitars, but at the root of that, what is this? This, friends, is the Yamaha Pacifica Standard Plus. You see, for me personally, I've heard of the Pacificas before and seen them, but I've never actually played one. And if we were to zoom out to the idea of Yamaha guitars as a whole with the Rev Stars, I know they cover both ends of the price spectrum. I know they have the super high end models like the RSP20 while also having a lot of more introductory Rev Stars. But with current iterations of the Pacifica, it happens to be just a little bit different. And that's kind of where the Standard Plus comes into the equation. It's pretty much everything that someone would be used to with regular Pacifica. SSH, locking tuners, coil split, but taken to the next level in terms of, well, the pickups. These are the Reflectone pickups from Rupert Neve, and if you've ever been into recording, you might recognize that name. As far as I've been aware over the years, they're usually known for their preamps and their consoles. Now, the other main big difference actually comes in the bridge with this having a two-point Goto bridge instead of a Wilkinson VS50 like the other ones. For real talk, yeah, there's a couple new specs, but I still never actually played the Pacifica, and I don't think the new pickups or the new bridge would actually matter until I put it to the test to see how it sounded. I think I genuinely forget a lot of the time just how spoiled we are nowadays where I can have zero frame of reference for a guitar and I can just go on a line and look up Yamaha Pacifica preset for a Helix and I can already have someone who knows what the Pacifica is and what it's supposed to do and what it's supposed to sound like even in reference to a Strat and get that specific tone. So like every once in a while I do want to just pull out the big guns and have like an actual amp and really just start from ground zero. That can still happen with a Helix, but this time I really do want to start from the very beginning and I don't get to pull out the Supro that much. I will always love the Oxbox, but I genuinely forget how many cables it actually takes to run this thing. My biggest fear, the thing that I don't want to do is I don't want to treat this like, oh, this is just Yamaha's version of a Strat. I want to go into it looking at it like it's its own thing. I think a lot of the time I spend too much time thinking about the specs and like who a guitar is for and I don't spend enough time actually asking myself the question of like how do I like this thing? How do I like the action? How do I actually want the trim set up? So that's what I decided to do today. I know this is a more modern intended guitar and the action came a little bit lower. So for the first time in a long time, I wanted to actually put the action quite a bit higher, which is something you don't hear a lot from a person who really struggles to play fast. First time I ever saw someone play one of these was Jack Thamorat. Remember that dude was an absolute legend. He was playing things I had never actually seen before. So I did everything with the trim and with the action. Now I want to try it again now that it has my like specific preferences. So once I had made my own simple adjustments, I started feeling more and more comfortable putting this thing to the test and seeing what it would actually be like to use on a regular basis. 
feel like I haven't gotten to know either of the middle pickups that much at all. And I call myself a Corey Wong fan. It needs a compressor. The worship player in me is like, where's the reverb? I'm really just trying to figure out what I even need this to sound like right now. Especially in the neck pickups, it's a lot bassier than I originally gave it credit for. Having the jack here is definitely the new trend. I feel like I'm finally starting to get this thing. It's always those like little details. I think it's pretty clear that once I went SSH, there was really no going back for me. Okay, so I've had this thing for a couple weeks now. I think I'm finally starting to ask myself some of those bigger questions. And it really all goes back to the first time where I ever got my GNL Legacy, where I really started to take an intrigue and a look at Strat alternatives. And I think in terms of this guitar, I'm starting to ask the big questions of what makes something an S-style guitar? Is it the five way? Is it the three pickups? Is it the one volume, one tone? Is it the single coils? In a lot of ways, I do think it is a combination of a lot of those different specific factors, but we do have to take into play when it comes to the Pacifica, it's more than just about what this guitar does. Because the first time I did see that GNL, I thought to myself, oh, there are some different functions, there are some different tones, there's some different specs about it. But essentially, on first look, I was looking at what I was used to looking at with a strap. And once you start really getting into the design of what this thing is and how it differs from other S style guitars, that can throw a lot of people off or that can really bring you in. And this is something where earlier in my years, if I would have seen something like this when I first picked up my GNL, I can tell you for sure I wouldn't have liked it because I was used to the specific form factor and design of how it came in what I thought was a strap. Like most alternatives to most guitars are trying to do the same thing but better, like give you better tonal varieties, more functions, but there aren't many really design-wise that are trying to shift things or shift your perspective on what something can be. And I think that goes into a lot of what we expect as guitar players and how over the past 50 years, the relative shape hasn't necessarily changed in the big, big manufacturing designs, but I don't necessarily think that's a problem or a good thing. I'm just saying that I really appreciate when a guitar is willing to really go for it and know that there are some people who are going to want a more traditional shape, but I think once you get hooked to a certain thing, like I said, for me, I don't know if I would have necessarily loved this a couple years ago, but the more I've gotten into more offset guitars and different stuff like that, this really appeals to me seeing something different. I think even in remembering back to the first time I opened this thing and saw the different form of the pick guard that I wasn't necessarily used to playing in person, it's like, okay, let's see how we're actually gonna bond with the actual design of what this guitar is. But I think just as a whole, I'm really intrigued in seeing how the rest of the guitar community will actually react to a guitar like this. I know with some of the earlier models of the Pacifica, I've seen guys, like I said before, like a Jack Thamrat in more of sort of the fusion pop shreddy virtuoso space really appreciate a guitar like this, but I'm really interested in seeing how it'll do in the mainstream. So I guess to that point, as always, it doesn't really matter what I think. What matters is what you think. Do you own a Pacifica? Have you played a Pacifica? Do you want a Pacifica? What's your favorite S style guitar that you've ever played? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. This was legitimately like a different animal and I love checking it out. It was really cool to see something completely different, like I said, in design for the first time in a while. So if you wanna know anything more about the Yamaha Pacifica, the links are in the description. Make sure to check them out. It's one of the best ways to support the channel if that's something you wanna do, or if you're just curious about any of the other gear that I use in this video. Make sure to check out those links. Also, thank you so much for my patrons. Some new backing tracks are on there. Like and subscribe if you had a good time. And most importantly, like most important of all, have the most fantastic day of your life.